Hello, my name is Holden Constantino. I will be presenting on my Unit 1 Make Code project. So, as I already told you, I intended to develop a very small computer system that could operate on any computer with a certain interface using the command line. I, I intended for my code to be able to utilize it for programs including notes, files, and messages. The criteria for this project were that the microbit must be able to display inputs, outputs, and provide an audio and visual signal that it was online. The microbit must also be able to connect to a computer and ensure that it's been added. The constraints for this project were that the microbit project should be completed in a reasonable amount of time. And although this wasn't an official constraint, microbits are really, really bad with record. I decided on a simple program that utilized the serial connection between the computer and the web. Using this meant I was able to utilize Python modules such as print and input, as well as using the computer as an input and providing much simple UI. I also began developing a voice based design that did not use computer serial, but I did not prioritize that design due to difficulties in control flow and sheer volume of the involved details. Other solutions I envisioned included a radio system and a virtual system not connected to a computer. I didn't choose these due to the low information density of the microphone display and difficulty with input and output devices. My chosen solution, the microbit, would connect to a laptop running MicroPython and open the serial. The microbit would initially ask for a password, and if the password was accepted, open the root program. This would work on a command line basis similar to the operating systems of computers from the 1970s or 1980s. As you can see here from this flowchart, on start, if the password correct, was correct, it would continue onto the root program. Otherwise, it would stop the program. In the root program, it would operate an infinite loop that could be exited by opening an exit application. Other when a file is opened, um, after a file was used, after an application was used, the user would be redirected back to the group program. This is my code. This is some more code that I use uh, to develop the radio system. And this is the hexadecimal code. You can safely ignore it. But if you do like know any supercomputer, I would be very curious to know how many characters are there. I code my program in the microbit Python editor using the speech, radio, music, system, new time, machine, operating systems, API. I was able to use both the online simulator and the app for microbit to identify an error scan that wiring was very easy since I only have one wire to Testing during testing. Usually, testing, I tested multiple features independently and as a whole. Eli usually helped when testing radio communications. In the initial code, the microbit was unable to record received radio messages. To attempt to fix this, I had another small program to so check for messages and sent them to, the, to an array in the base code. Whenever I found an error, I would run the error on this application. Independently, place any vulnerable statements or hard coded alternatives in child's able to find where the error originated. So, in conclusion, I was able to develop the microbit program being already providing criteria acting as a simple computer that could connect to the monitor. Although the computer had very little processing power, it was quite compact and provided useful features. I settled on the design I mentioned. By using the engineering design process to develop the most efficient and effective solution 